What's up guys? Clinton from Grimspeed, and I'm going to be walking you through the installation of the version 2 turbo heat shield for the WRX, STI, LGT, and FXT platforms. In this video, I'll be working with our SHOP 2012 WRX with the top mount intercooler already removed. If you need instructions on how to remove your top mount intercooler, please refer to our top mount intercooler install guides and or consult your factory service manual. This installation is pretty simple and should take around 30 to 45 minutes to complete. Let's get started. Our car is equipped with a Grimspeed Divorce downpipe, which doesn't allow us to run the factory heat shield. Removal of this piece is easy though. It just requires that you remove the 10 millimeter bolts lining the top and side of the heat shield. Be careful because these can be a little bit rusty and do have the tendency to snap if you apply too much pressure. There's also another bolt located on the lower heat shield bracket that you'll need to remove. If you run into any issues with these brackets, like a broken bolt or you just don't have it for some reason, keep in mind we do sell new replacements on our website. Once you remove these bolts, you'll be able to work your OEM heat shield out and you'll be left with the top heat shield bracket. We're going to use this bracket to install our new Grimspeed heat shield. You'll notice this heat shield features our Grimspeed Reflecta Gold foil. We've applied this to aid the heat shield in reflecting heat back into the turbo and away from your intercooler. If you're interested in adding the Grimspeed Reflecta Gold foil to your heat shield, you can find it on our website by clicking the link in the description. Let's get back to the install. We're going to use the same three holes on the bracket to mount our new heat shield. Lower your heat shield into place, being careful not to scratch it. Use the three included 10 millimeter bolts to secure it in place. Now use your 10mm socket to get them snug. 